Hi, and uh, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And we all have things we really want to like and love in our life, both ham radio and not. And one of those things for me is this, the body stick. It's a really well-constructed antenna. And it's supposed to be an easy antenna to set up, but for me it's been a nightmare from day one. I haven't really been able to tune it any any way I want, but I've played around for it in the yard for a couple of days now and think I got it to tune pretty well. So I'm gonna set it up here at my usual POTA spot at Lima Alpha 2532 and see what happens. Hopefully that'll work okay, and perhaps it won't. I don't really have any backup antennas with me. I got a couple in the car, but I'm not in the car at the moment. So let's set the antenna up, see if we can get it in tune and see what happens. And this brings us to my first major caveat with this antenna. And I know it's hard to see, but after about 10 minutes of fiddling with the uh, counterpoise, with the coil and with the length of the whip, this is the best I can do on 20. Uh, 2.45 at uh, 14.1.60. And that is nowhere near where I got with the antenna uh, the last couple of days at home doing this. Where I managed to get the antenna at about 1.5 or better on 20. And that's big, that's a big disappointment though. And the antenna is so hard to tune. But I'm gonna fiddle for a little while and see if we can get any better and we'll see what happens. Okay, I've been fiddling around with the antenna now in all different configurations for about 30 minutes. And, sorry, but that's not good enough. I could have put up anything in 30 minutes, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pack this together, get down to the car, pick up uh, a mast, and put up a monoband 20 meter ver wire vertical instead and see if I can make the activation. Okay, that took me about 15 minutes, including running through the car and back to set up the new antenna. I'm now set up to start calling CQ, and that took me the better part of an hour to do that. Uh, whereas I could have done that, took me actually more than an hour, whereas I could have done that in about 10 minutes using the antenna I'm using now. So. Um, Let's go ahead and call some CQs and we'll conclude a little bit afterwards uh, here. Uh, but first of all, let's take a look at the station setup. The radio is, as usual, the X6100 with the MXP50M amplifier. I only have less than an hour to do the activation now, so I'm going to use the amplifier. And that's hooked up to a quarter wave vertical going up this uh, little mast here, six meter mast. and. I got a bit of a, you probably can't see it, but I got a bit of the usual radial net on the ground. Bye bye, QRZ Parks on the Air. This is Lima Bravo Zero Fox Strut India calling CQ Parks on the Air. Wow, Kilo 8 Romeo Delta Golf QSL. Roger Dreyer, yeah, you're about a 5 and 7, 5 and 7 here in southern Norway, Park Lima Alpha 2532. Over. Yes, 
73 and happy to hear that I'm reaching Michigan that uh, that promises well for the propagation today uh, enjoy your uh, your day there 73 okay guys and activation doesn't always go as planned and uh, I somehow had the mic I somehow had the mic wrongly configured when I did my sideband cue so at the moment I'm doing some FD4 here um, just to save the activation I got three QSOs on uh, sideband one Michigan and two UK so not bad but besides from that nothing and time is not on my side I got to pick up my son at school and uh, well I got to pack down in about 20 minutes so doing some FD4 now to see if I can get 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 it going okay this is a different kind of video um, I went out I plan to do an activation with the buddy stick as I said in the introduction I was kind of hoping that that was an antenna I could at some point like I just can't it took me the better part of an hour uh, more than an hour total trying to tune that antenna I couldn't get it to tune good enough so I kind of dropped that plan, I went ahead, I um, got my 6 meter fiberglass mast from the car, put up a wire vertical for 20 meters, uh, had three sideband QSOs as I told earlier, then I went out to do some FT4, got another seven QSOs on FT4 and that's because I gotta run, I gotta take my kid, I gotta pick up my kid at school, take him to the library and a lot of different things so I don't have more time today and speaking of that the buddy stick is no antenna if you're limited on time and I don't know if I'm doing it wrong I mean people on YouTube love this antenna I can't I just it's so well built but it's so finicky to tune and I've, I've managed to tune it a couple of times for the two-ish years I've had the antenna and when you get it in tune it's a fantastic antenna but you spend so much time tuning it it's been in my basement for better part of a year now haven't looked at it figured I'd give it another shot and I'm sorry but I'm done with the buddy pole I don't like this antenna I can't really tell you that it's a fantastic antenna and this was a different kind of video but still not every activation goes as planned if you like this video please click that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below I like my comments also please do consider subscribing because I need more subscribers well no, not really I don't need more subscribers but only a third of my viewers are subscribed so there are room for more subscribers and if you want to support the channel there are a couple of ways down below to do that please do remember to watch the European ham radio show tears every Sunday at 9 p.m. Central European time five guys a lot of ham radio talk and I guess that's it for today different kind of video as I've said a couple of times I don't like the buddy stick you might tell me why leave a comment down below and uh, that's it for now until next time 7 3